Do you get deja vu when she's with you? Do you get deja vu? Do you get deja vu? Fan of Olivia Rodrigo or not, you probably have heard that line. Although pretty Olivia uses the term in a sassy, metaphorical way, she does give us a good reason to dive into a mysterious and fascinating phenomenon. Does it mean you foresaw the future or you're experiencing an overlap of universes? I thought you were Peter too. What? I'm I, not Peter too. Stop arguing both of you. Listen to Peter one. From its causes to its effects, I will walk you through the world of deja vu and all that it has to offer. So, stay and explore the mysterious world of deja vu with me. What's deja vu? First of all, what's deja vu? A French loanword that literally means already seen. You're experiencing deja vu when you feel that you have been in the exact situation before, despite knowing that you haven't. You feel like you have seen this waiter trip and fall before even though you have never been to this restaurant. You feel like you've seen this exact person in this exact jacket, though you guys both know this is the first encounter. You feel like you've seen this film before, although it was just released today. Although there is a strong sense of recollection, the time, place, and context of the previous experience are uncertain or impossible. This is what happens to someone when they say they've just had a moment of deja vu. What causes deja vu? Unfortunately, scientists are still far from finding the exact stem of deja vu. But why? Why is a phenomenon that was discovered a long time ago so little studied? Well, the nature of deja vu makes it hard to be studied. The technology we currently have is not advanced enough for scientists to record the experience of deja vu for research purposes. How could they record something that lasts just the blink of an eye? To make things more challenging, deja vu happens without signals. So, even if there was a device to record the experience, nobody could foresee when and where it would occur to set up the machine beforehand. Scientists can't make someone sit in a lab with a device wired into the brain and wait for the appearance of deja vu either because that could take years. And that's not to mention that some people never experience deja vu throughout their whole lives. But all that doesn't mean that we are completely unaware of the root of deja vu. Over the years, they developed many different theories aiming at explaining why deja vu occurs. There have been, indeed, dozens of theories proposed. Exploring all of them will for sure get you lost in a haze, for all those many explanations are complicated, especially when you lack deep knowledge of neuroscience. I'm gonna try to simplify things for you by explaining three most likely to be true theories based on evidence found in neuroimaging and cognitive psychology. Dual Processing Let's imagine you're in a restaurant waiting for your appetizer to arrive. A young, seemingly inexperienced waiter is walking past your table with a tray of spaghetti plates. All of a sudden, he trips and falls. As the drama plays out, a bunch of information enters your brain. The waiter is shaking hands, the panic on his face, the splash of the sauce on the lady's fancy dress and her screams out of shock, etc. Within milliseconds, these pieces of information sail through our neural pathways and are processed into a single moment. Normally, everything is recorded in sync. If that's the case, you don't have deja vu. Scientists who propose that dual processing is the cause of deja vu moments believe that it will occur to you when something goes a little bit wrong and there's a slight delay in the transportation process in one or some of those pathways. As part of the information arrives later than the rest, your brain will believe the latecomer belongs to another event. Your brain has processed part of the experience before, and now it's recording over the recorded tape. In simple words, the event happens just once, but your brain makes you think you go through it twice. So in a way, it could be said that you've been in that particular situation before. It's just that before here means just a few milliseconds ago. Holograms Rather than a malfunction of the brain in the present, scientists who advocate for hologram theory associate the cause of deja vu with a confusion of the past. Again, let's imagine yourself in a restaurant, one that's in a town you've never been in. 
You sit down and notice that the tablecloth looks familiar. When you're gazing at the decorative patterns, some distant memory emerges from some deep spots in your brain. According to the theory, this is because memories are stored in the form of holograms. And in holograms, you only need one fragment to see the whole picture. So, you actually saw this tablecloth somewhere, at some point before. It could be in your grandparents' house, which you visited just last week, or in a movie you watched with your university roommates four years ago. Your brain manages to remind you that you've seen this image before, but fails to identify exactly where and when that happened. So you feel a sense of familiarity, but no recollection. Divided Attention I'm going to use the setting of a restaurant once again to walk you through this final theory. Imagine the falling waiter accident again, but add that when the event unfolded, you were captivated by the inviting ocean blue eyes of a lady sitting at a table close to yours. Now, you have moved your focus away from her and to the clumsy waiter. You may feel like you've seen it before. Actually, you have. Your brain has been recording everything in your peripheral vision below your conscious awareness. It's like you're now purposely taking a closer, longer look at an image already carved in your brain. Scientific terms used divided attention theory suggest that deja vu occurs when your brain subliminally takes in an environment while you're distracted by one particular object or person. What happens after deja vu? If you're one of those who have never been visited by deja vu, you might wonder what follows such a mysterious phenomenon. Well, the answer is that there's no remarkable sequel, at least most of the time. Usually the occurrence of deja vu only briefly confuses the experiencer, especially if they're a first timer. However, deja vu could be a signal of an incoming epilepsy in rare cases or dementia is about to strike. If deja vu has become a friend you frequently encounter, it's best to visit a certified doctor as soon as possible. You don't want to find yourself in a dangerous health condition too late, do you? Other Dejas, Other Vus Deja vu has been so common. It's mentioned in everyday conversations, movies, songs, etc. But do you know there are other Dejas? Deja Vesu which means already lived, is an intense but false feeling of having already lived through the present situation. Deja rêve, which means already dreamed, is the feeling of having already dreamed something that is currently happening right in front of your eyes. Deja entendu, which means already heard, is the experience of feeling sure about having already heard something, even though the exact details are uncertain or were perhaps imagined. Of all these dejas, deja vesu is the one that should be worried about, since it's a pathological form of deja vu, with real behavioral consequences. The intense feeling of familiarity could lead to patients withdrawal from their current events or activities. They may believe they're delusional. Okay, that's about the other dejas. Let's talk about the other vus. Presque vu, which means almost seen is the intense feeling of being on the very brink of a powerful epiphany, insight or revelation, without actually achieving it. The feeling is often therefore associated with a frustrating, tantalizing sense of incompleteness or near-completeness. There's also jamais vu, which means never seen, the opposite of déjà vu. It's a sense of eeriness and the observer's impression of never having seen something before, despite knowing for sure that they have been in the situation somewhere, sometime. Jamais vu often strikes with words. Have you ever failed to recognize a Chinese word before realizing you have already known it moments later? Some researchers have associated jamais vu with certain types of aphasia, amnesia, and epilepsy. So that's all I have to offer you guys. But the land of déjà vu is so vast that we're far from reaching its borders. You may not have a degree in neuroscience or anything, but that doesn't mean you can't join the quest for a better, clearer understanding of this phenomenon. The next time déjà vu crosses your way, take a moment to comprehend the situation. Has something captured your attention? Was there an object that looked the same or nearly the same somewhere else? Is there just a minor malfunction within the process of dealing with information? Who knows? Maybe you'll discover that it's not dual processing, not holograms, not even divided attention, 
it's something else. Don't forget to like this video to thank our dedicated team, share it to your friends and family members to get a wow, and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any video about science and mysteries.